you motherfucking ready? Let me get it. Where'd it go? Oops. Did I not save it? Wait, I did save it. Where is it? Where did I save it? Nope. That's the wrong notes. It's over here. Let me get this. All right. Here we go. So first, we're going to Twitter. We, it's time, it's time for us to do some drama mama. Because as it turns out, the previous, one of our previous actually technically wasn't even a drama mama segment about the class reductionist from PA. It's been going on. Oh, it is, it still rages onwards, onwards and doubling down indeed. So, but at this point, I'm not directly addressing just, oh, do you have the clip? 404, gender not found. Do you have the clip of that? Because I would love to talk about that. I would love to talk about that if you have the clip. Oh, that'd be so good. You got to go, Panes. We'll see you soon. Don't worry. Have a good time. Um, you have some screenshots? If you got the screenshots, Wendelby, shoot them my way. That'd be great. So here we go. Here's a video. We're going to watch this one first because this is made by Ico. Actually, wait, I can download this. This is small. Direct download. Uh, save file to the desktop. There we go. We'll watch it on this side. That'll make us That'll make us able to customize. Swooping in. Ico swooping in with the receipts. With the receipts. Yeah, central, the central committee is Mike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Central Committee is Mike. He likes to hide because he's a he's a weasel. Where'd it go? Here we go. Here we go. Let's watch it. It includes a multitude of different people. So we've seen some of this before, but we're going to watch this again just as a little quick catch-up, okay? This is a short little video Ico made. Here we go. Right, so reaching a consensus is if almost you can liberate there. yourself, do it already. What? You don't need me fucking do it, but yet I don't see it happening. Race policing the movement tends to lead to frank white ring criticism that is just white liberals at BLM protests. Yep. You feed right into their narrative. And I, honestly, I, I don't want to be a part of a movement that doesn't want me there anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, then I, I mean, won't yeah. be there. If there is hostility there and you don't feel like you belong, then you are going to be, you're going to feel that discomfort. And that's- And the delusion, the delusion that, you know, we can quote, liberate ourselves. I don't even know what the fuck that means, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, what, a population of 16% of, of this country is going to like, what, take over? Like, what, what, what is the strategy here? We, the only strategy and the only thing that works is a class-based strategy. Right. That puts class first. There I said it. I fucking said it. Class, you could almost say we could reduce the movement down to class. Right. Because that's the only thing that unites people. Now, obviously, we don't want to uphold white supremacy or other bullshit. Obviously yeah. destroying white supremacy is necessary to, de to destroy capitalism or protest capitalism. But like, come on, man, keep your eye on the fucking ball. I think it's scary whenever you're so going many, up against pepper so balls. Many, there's and... so many hyper woke people that are like, oh, bl the white anarchists <laughs> and let this be a black led movement. And I'm sorry, folks, but like when you're fighting fascism, you don't protest capitalism Wait, around with skull oh, down and much. do a woke kiss sorry and let this be a black led about... movement and i'm sorry folks but mike from pa is running for leadership position in blm what like when you're fighting fascism you don't have the time to walk around and do a wokeness check on everybody that's on the street with Registered Republican until 2014, switched parties to run against a rep who pri primaried his mom. What? <laughs> I can't wait for the full video with this. Holy shit. You, you shut the fuck up, you join arms, and you fight. The fact that people are going around with skull measuring cal- Oh, uh, Comrade Anthony, just go to the sub menu, click gifted sub, and then decide who you want to give it to. There you go. ...saying that this person is not woke enough for their protest mm -hmm. is fucking pathetic. They are, our movement is so far from reality. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, I go, I go good shit. I go good fucking shit. That was, that was good as fuck. Yes, that is what he looks like, of course. Yes. I love that. Okay, that was, that was clean. 
But now, now we got to get into the now we got to get into the real investigation. I can find the timestamp. Um, yeah. Do you know approximately where it was? We can look at it. We can look at it. Yeah, the wanky tanky drawing a blanky. True. Oh, sick. Okay. Yeah, if you find it, if you find the section, I would love to look at it. I'd love to see what they were arguing about. Because unfortunately, Mike from PA blocked me after my video came out. Immediately. He immediately blocked me after my video came out. Mike from PA is a coward who doesn't actually engage people when he when they're criticizing him. And so what he does instead is he goes into other people's chats to try and clout to try and like leverage his clout to get people mad at them. He tries to win everybody over on his side because he's a woo wimp that's what he is so uh yeah let's let's take a look we've got a we've got another thing to look at here now this now this is categorically mucho texto look at this this is some mucho texto mucho texto but guess what we are going to read it because it's important and this is what we do on drama mama we dig in deep and try to figure out what the fuck is going on to the best of our abilities Yeah, yeah, okay. Really? Wait, really? Was he talking about us, Lawboy? Oh my god. Where's the long phone meme or a long cat? This is Ico's note. This note was written by Ico um, addressing Twitch in general. The the like lefty Twitch. But we're bread we're on bread tube now. Ha ha ha. No, just kidding. We're still we're still part of that community by and large. So uh let's let's get into it. Let's dig right in. Indirectly, his way of explaining it didn't make any sense. Yeah, of course it didn't, because he's weaseling. Found near it was... Okay, sick, 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 sick. All right. Bread tubers. This is Ico, remember. Ico. Aw, thank you so much, Sylvia. I appreciate that. You know, I don't like my own voice, but I've heard that people do like it. And it seems like a lot of people like to watch my content and hear my voice a bunch. So that means a lot to me. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. See? But I'm not a good singer. Aw, thank you so much. I mean, I do think it's kind of cool that I have... I do kind of have a steady voice. But, um... Aw. Well, listen. I try to be as welcoming as possible, even when I'm mad. Aw, Dizzy. Y'all are... Y'all are being so kind. 50 minutes in? Okay, I'll save this. And I will... We'll do this afterwards. 50 minutes. Okay, that's great. Excellent. When you switch hey, to stop mode. it. I didn't say ads. All right, let's do this. Aw, thank you so much, Briarthorn. That means the world to me. I mean, I will say that streaming has helped me find my voice way better because I'm using it all the time, and I listen to it through the headphones. So, you know, practicing like that is real good. Yeah, it is probably that. I guess we hear our voices differently than other people hear us. Well, I'm just... It, it really is flattering that people find my voice nice. So... Thank you all so much. That's really, really nice to hear. Thank you. Let's get into it. Drama Mama, Mike from PA, part two. This is a much larger issue that goes way beyond Mike from Class Redacted. This is about his peers. This is about the streamers and bread tubers that I was introduced to and have been supported by from the moment I decided to start streaming. As a very small streamer who has been welcomed into the community of leftist Twitch by people who make videos about and stream coverage of the Black Lives Matter movement, as well as a wide range of issues of injustice, marginalization, and exploitation occurring under capitalism, I came into this space knowing nothing about socialism, or that there was even a difference between a lefty and a leftist. What I did know, as someone who was raised in a fundamentalist born-again Christianity, is what it looks like when the words in a mission statement don't reflect the actions or the outcomes. I am very familiar with this cognitive dissonance that allows people to preach a message and then bend it enough in real time to justify why a choice they made is consistent with their values. All partnered leftist political streamers and bread tubers, this is for you. I love you, but you're bringing us down. There is no neutral position for you, because unlike a layperson viewer, you know what Mike means. You know what class reductionism is, and you know that it's bad, right? You also know that this wasn't just class reductionism out of ignorance. Quotes from literally just two weeks ago. If you can liberate yourselves, do it already. If you don't need me, then fucking do it. But yet, I don't see it happening. Honestly, I don't want to be a part of a movement that doesn't want me there anyway. The delusion that we can, quote, 
liberate ourselves. I don't even know what the fuck that means, to be honest with you. Like what, a population of 16% of this country are going to like what, take over? Mike from PA Central Committee. This was written by Ico, Ico Rules. There you go, Ico Rules. If you don't need me, if you don't want me, you don't matter. I've already climbed up the staircase of your pain, grief, and bodies. If you won't let me stand on top of you, I won't graciously extend my power to help you stand up on someone el on top of someone else with me. Yes, it's very inconvenient to hold someone accountable. Wanting to avoid drama, not on drama mama, or alienating mutual community members, and so on. Justifying that it's better to keep the peace over ruffling feathers. Wait, I thought that was supposed to be a lib thing. True, Iko. True. So what I've seen happen over and over is the most vulnerable people whose names are invoked conceptually and are then reduced to a one-dimensional existence are the first to get thrown under the bus. They are not surprised. I was strangely surprised, but now I'm just pissed. Because what the fuck are we trying to do? What is the point? Do we care? No one really expects any of, to do, of you to do anything. Sympathetic DMs at most. The casual resigned expectation that there will be no public stances taken and no one will speak up in their defense. What the fuck does solidarity mean to you? If you won't even try to dismantle white supremacy within your immediate streamer community, what the fuck is your idea of a revolution? Why should anyone trust that you will have their backs in a fight against an entire system when you won't even stand up against someone you have equal footing with? A cis male straight white streamer who has threatened multiple very small streamers with mentions of his partner power. I would like to see this. I would like to see some some evidence of this. I'm sure it will be in the video. But as of right now, we don't have any evidence of this claim unless people have it that I don't have. If any of you have evidence of such a thing, please give it to me now and we'll analyze that. But again, um, some someone that most of you don't even actually like. People have been reaching out to me privately, including people in your stream communities, during this weirdo apology tour that Mike's doing to let me know how much this needs to be said and that there are way more people than I know who are just watching the state of things quietly because they have no power to leverage, either being either a viewer or a small streamer that would be more vulnerable to getting pushed out before they've found their footing. You don't have to care about anything. I don't go after people who haven't made public claims of caring about the issues they cover because I have no right to tell random people that they should care about or, prior or what, what they should care about or prioritize if they just want to mind their own business and do drawing or gaming streams and aren't bothering anybody. But proclaiming to care about real lives and issues, structuring your content around addressing them, and coming together to progress as a society are a commitment to accountability. Protect your communities. They fucking love you and trust you to educate them. But then... Sometimes you break their hearts. This is a pretty solid takedown. And I read some of this yesterday, but I've just finished reading it now. What do y'all think? What do you all think about this, basically? Because this is the part that really hits it, hits it for me. But proclaiming to care about real lives and issues, structuring your content and his identity around addressing them. He identifies as the central committee and uses all of the socialist trappings and talks about how he's the real socialist and everybody else is a stupid lib. Oh, well, hopefully they're fixed now, Dizzy Eyes. Don't worry. Um, oh, whoa, really, Dan Starlight? For real? Holy shit, that'd be cool as fuck. Yeah, I think this statement is pretty fair. This is all about Mike. But it's addressing people to step forward and call Mike out, basically. Um, Dan Starlight, if you want to, did you did you want to DM that to me and I'll take a listen? We'll take a listen after this segment. That'd be cool as fuck. Let's take a look at this. Here we go. Let me see if I can find the conversation. Thank you, Dan Starlight. Hey, Sumner Cutie Pants. Hey, Cyborg. Welcome back. See my last message? Okay. Uh, it, keep in mind, it goes for about 20 to 30 minutes. It actually starts at 40 minutes, probably before earliest I could find comes and goes, but every bit is worth it. Okay. Let's go to the 40 minute mark. Here we go. Let's keep an eye out for this. 45 minutes. First Ico message at 45 at 48. So 45. Let's go to 45. 
Here we go. Thank you so much, Busy Bee. That was awesome. Hell yeah. Thank you, my assistant. My assistant investigators. Fuck Obama. Jesus. How old are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you, are you so many places. So here we go. So here he comes in and says, fuck Obama. Now we have, let's go to 48, where we see the first Ico one. Ico. It's actually perfect timing that Central Committee would stop by. Lib sesh. I'll go back to being a good mod now, but anyone who wants to see Mike tell black people to liberate themselves are welcome to go to my Twitter. Oh, shit. Yeah. Read about stuff. Let's hear. Let's hear. Do they pop in? Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Let's watch it. We're watching this. Is there a way to just watch the chat? I want to just see the chat. Give me just the chat. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, comrade. Self-promoting as a mod. Pepe laugh. So we have Central Committee making fun of Ico. Ico, I'm on an all-Asian panel tonight. Okay, so that's not related to this. Oh, okay. Let me take a look. We'll take a look as soon as this is done. If I if I start if I get forgetful, ping me again. That'd be so cool. Oh yeah, I can't read the chat. Here, here's how we do this. Here's what we do. We go like this. We go like this. Boop. There we go. Here we go. We're in. We're in. Here we go. Here's Mike. Here's Mike over here just posting a cringe. He's just doing a cringe emote. A Pepe laugh. He's, he's just trying to meme right now. Imagine being a class reductionist and also being a Republican until you were 30. Oof. Yeah, Lance is looking good. Oof. Keep addressing me. It gives me a reason to respond, Central Committee. Down here. This is worse than voting for Biden. Please make it stop. Don't let that guy bother you. Just let him, just forget about him. <laughs> oh my God. Ico rules. Just redact him from your mind. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. What the fuck? Oh my God. No, actually, I'm shaming him for telling black people to liberate themselves already if they don't need him. Oof. Wait, did we just get a tier two sub? Did I get a tier two sub? I'm sorry if I missed a sub. Did I miss a sub? Thank you for whoever did it. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, oops. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Let's see what, what this says here. Lycan. Lycan called him out. I was on a show with Lycan recently, I think. Um, I hope you're consistent with anyone who had a hand in those parts of his presidency and that you're equally critical of anyone's body of work that those two things stick out after eight years of work. Okay, I don't know what they're talking about. I'll trash you in my own stream, so have fun for now, Central Committee. I have a feeling it goes on. Yeah, yeah. Lance, does Lance address it at all? Is there anywhere that, anywhere that doesn't have the same economic powerhouse Let's as, hear. As, as the United States? It just, it's escaping me something anywhere that you may have it may have invaded in the past may, may have all the apology subs you're tossing out aren't going to help wait really has mike from pa been doing apology subs has has mike from pa been doing apology subs to everybody's channels oh my god that is so scummy holy shit for real for fucking real Holy shit. No way. Wait, is that what he does? Did he dish one out? Oh my god. Here, hold on. Let me let me see. The best apology is changed behavior. Nah, it's throwing money at it. Yeah, you got to you got to you got to throw money at it. Holy shit. Okay. I want to check out Ico's stuff. Let's keep looking. He's buying an indulgence. 
You'll pay you five dollars to shut the fuck up? Listen, I'll shut the fuck up for thirty seconds if anyone pays me five dollars. I will shut the fuck up for thirty seconds. It'll be dead silent on the stream for thirty seconds. All it takes five dollars. Okay, uh, alternately, you can pay me $5 and I will keep talking. I know you did. I know. I was just being silly. I don't know. I wish I knew. You gotta be, I guess you gotta be an influential streamer goddess so that, that so that he'll, so he'll throw money at you. Imagine getting a gifted sub from Mike. Oof. Uh, for that re, uh, I I probably will gay fesh. I have to figure that out. I have to figure that out. He does have a big smile. He has a very big smile. Let's find out. I want to see the next. I want to see them continue fighting. Fight, 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 fight. I want to see the fight. He's killing the white names. It's true. He should come kill the white names in my chat. I won't forgive him, but a big old Pepe mods here. Wait, is he talking about it? Uh, the leading <laughs> epidemiologist in the country. Mm -hmm. and saying, Ico, stop being weird and lying. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, okay. Being consistent in terms of masks and social distancing. Not suggesting that um, you know, this is some... Uh, He's doing the truth. Wait, that what is... Oh, sick. Thank you so much, Gina. Appreciate that. Just a okay, thing to Obama's gearing up for something then, right? Okay, so he's still talking about Obama. So Lance just totally ignores it. Lance is totally ignoring it. Wait, you don't get which part? Which part don't you get, Sylvia? Which part don't you get, Sylvia? Oh, you can't see the subs? They, they, they pop up on the screen. Yeah, they pop up on the screen here. So let's take a look. Let's look at the full screen. Let's take a look. Where's the recent subs? Resub, resub. Oh, they were gifted. Oh, it doesn't show if it was a gifted one. Huh. Central committee. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh, so somebody plugs Central Committee. Uh-oh. And then says, Central Committee, get out of here. Go get your own stream. And then they wink. And then they wink. Oh, he didn't gift subs to Lance. He gifted to other people? Okay. Uh-oh, somebody plugs him. One of the mods plugs Central Committee to follow. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. So that's going to certainly ignite things. Let's Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this unfolds. That's a stinky right there. We're getting into the real drama when you plug him in the midst of the conflict. Oh, it gets so good. Oh, God. Well, then I'm excited. This is kind of weird, you know? But this is why we have the Drama Mama segments. We have the Drama Mama segments so that we can do weird shit like this, like chat watching people. Because it's funny. Because it's funny as fuck. And I don't give a shit about people like uh, Reductionist from PA in the way that he engages. Now, maybe if he changes his ways in the future. Oh, it does make the chat load faster? Does it really? Okay. Let's do it. That's perfect. Hey, here we go. Perfect. So central committee just memeing again. All he has is a Pepe laugh here. Oh, it does. Interesting. That's awesome. Pepe laugh. Lance looks like looks at the chat tiredly. Ramsey's the greatest calling him out. Central Committee, I like how you laugh at the suffering of my people. Oof. Holy shit, this is getting fucking spicy. Makes me feel really good. Thanks. Liberals were right, Pepe. The serfs. Wait, this is this is this is a different unrelated one. Here we go. Class reductionists aren't leftists. But hey, if that's not enough for you, that's fine. Oh, Damn, this chat has a lot of liberals in it. See, he's still not backing down. All he's doing is calling people who disagree with him liberals. See, he's doubling fucking down. This fucker's doubling down. This is fucking Amy Therese shit. This is Amy Therese shit. It's not funny. It's just LARPy. 
pure LARPy. This is what he's doing in his free time. Lying, huh? Iko calling him out for lying. Good joke, Mike. Okay. Everybody, oh, he's getting ratioed. He's getting the Twitch equivalent of ratioed. Da LARPy? Central Committee, didn't you say we need a class reductionist movement, people think? True, gender. Thank you. Thank you, gender not found. Amazing. People wide happy. Uh, no, I never used those words. Yes, you did, you fucking liar. You literally said that. You literally said that. He's just fucking lying to everybody. We have it on video. Holy fucking shit, this guy's just straight up lying. This was today. This was, this stream ended 17 minutes ago. Fucking Weasley. We got a Weasley motherfucking liar on our hands here. Everybody, the Drama Mama investigation intensifies. We have discovered that uh, that the suspect, the prime suspect, is still motherfucking lying. Always lying, dude. Always being a weaselly little liar. I just said uh, we should reduce things down to class, but I didn't say class reductionism. That's called lying. He's lying. Still. There we go. The investigation intensifies. You can't avoid the, the eye of Demon Mama. Private eye. There we go. Let's keep going. We got to get back. We got to get back into the action. We got more to discover. We got more chat tabs to pour over. Liberal, you say? Here's some subs. Thanks, says uh, Iko to someone. Don't say that. Your brain, ears, and <laughs> Ramsey's the great J to, to 404 gender not found. Uh, he didn't say that. Your brain, eyes, and ears, your brain, eyes, and ears lied to you. Does Central Committee just believe whatever you say he does? And yes, class reductionists are still leftists even they're wrong. That's not true, Noam Chomsky. I disagree. Central Committee, could you elaborate on the misinterpreted thing people are referencing? Oh, shit. Shit. Fucking grilling him. Redacted can't even answer a simple question about reparations. Here we go. I mean, it would be, uh, I mean, would it, it would be inappropriate for me to drop my own Dropbox with the vid of you actually saying that mask off central committee. But Hey, if you don't mind uh, to say, if you don't mind saying I'm welcome to, what are your thoughts about black reparations? Oh, they're grilling him. Hey, here we go. Mike from PA. I have a number of times, but basically Dem candidates admitted that they were losing POC voters because they didn't deal enough with class and economic issues and focused too much on orange man bad, man bad and Trump racist instead of an economic message. It's real simple. This is not what he said. This is not what he said. Well, welcome, Sarcomatos. I hope you're doing all right. You're feeling solipsistic? Well, at least, listen, Sarcomatos, even if you are just living in a dream, at least you get to enjoy pleasant characters in your dream like us and we care about you so there you go anyway back to the back to the drama here we go here we go where were we <clears throat> so yes he lied again this is not what he said and this isn't even a clarification this is just not what he said I would be the best. Listen, if you got me as your sleep paralysis demon, I would take care of you. You know you'd be comfy. You'd be comfy as fuck. It's this is the backpedal. But not he's not admitting that he said something wrong. He's just saying, no, you misheard me. We're waiting. Let's see. Liberals getting mad because I pointed out that we don't talk about class. Liberals getting mad because I pointed out that we don't talk about class. What the fuck are you talking about? Ico talks about class all the time. I talk about class all the time. 
Central Committee, I can't speak to that as I'm not familiar with which candidate said what and why, but what specifically are you are people referencing that you said? From what Demon Mama showed, you seem to be have been advocating for a class-reduced movement. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Thank you very much for the shout-out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mwah, mwah. Thank you for the shout-out there. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Actually, what you said is that we need to bring people in and build solidarity before we talk about race. That is what he said. This is what he said. This is what he said. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, wait, is, is Famous Horse here? Hi. Hi, Famous Horse. No, we're actually owning Mike from PA. The, the serfs are doing fine here. They're desperately, uh, Lance is desperately trying to ignore the drama that's unfolding in his, uh, in his chat, and we're just really soaking it in. Because, oh boy, is it fun. Ooh, what you got for me here, Cyborg? Let's take a look. What you got for me? <laughs> if you're a class reductionist, you're not a leftist. Demon Mama, chat. Next, he's going to call them a liberal. Mike from PA, liberal. <laughs> True! Holy shit. Cyborg, you need to post this on... You, please, post this on Twitter and tag both me and Ico in it. Please, please, oh my god, Cyborg, please, holy shit, and put that on the Reddit, too, put that on the Reddit, fucking Christ, please, holy shit, Oh, that sucks, it's okay, don't worry, we're good, we're good, all right, let's get back to it, come on, let's get to it, I know that we can do it. Any K Swiftly emotes in chat? We got K Swiftly comfy. Wait, wait, wait. I watched the video. She didn't actually listen to me. It was mostly her talking. Hey, Mike from PA watched the video. <laughs> yes. Fucking yes. Oh, yes. That feels great. The fucker got to see me call him a bunch of names. Ooh, that feels so good. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> That's all. Oh, that feels so good. That's all. Remember what I said? Remember what I said? All I care about is that he sees the video and feels insulted because that's the goal. I wanted him to feel fucking bad about that. He's bad and he should feel bad. And now he does. <laughs> yes. That makes me really happy. K Swiftly is a, a six month tier three to my stream. Yeah. Not anymore, dude. Wait, this is so, sh this is actually really silly. Um, this, this statement right here is incredibly silly. K Swiftly has literally confronted him about this. K Swiftly literally called him out and he's, this is literally, he's, I have a black friending to somebody who told him that they were full of shit. This is so shitty, actually. This is so bad. Holy fuck. That's so bad. Holy shit. Oh, and then look at this. So he uses K Swiftly. Here he goes, K Swiftly is a six month tier three to my stream. And then he says, K Swiftly also said AOC and Omar are racists, lol. Yeah, yeah, the demon mama read it. Yeah, that's the one. Yep, that's the one. Holy shit. So first he uses K Swiftly as a, like a, as a, oh yeah, well K Swiftly subs to my channel. Even though K Swiftly literally was in the original stream criticizing Central Committee. And then he goes on to shit on K Swiftly. This is so fucking shitty. This is so fucking shitty. Oh, just you wait until the actual video comes out, Central Committee. Holy shit. Central Committee, if by we you mean the left in general, we 100% do. A great example of this would be this this stream, and actually, which constantly references class issues. Most leftists bring up class problems, but bringing people into the con conversation by addressing issues such as racism and transphobia. True! Really important issues that talk to me material concerns. Hey, thanks for the follow, Central Sloth. Very happy to have you. This is so great. Yeah, not anymore, Central Committee. Oh my god. 
Ico rules. Get a life. Seriously. Get a life, he says, as he's in this stream, d literally publicly trying to defend himself about stupid bullshit in a chat when he won't actually talk to anybody. Oh my god. Is this really what matters to you? This drama is shallow and not really substantial in the big stream, in the big scheme. Can't we just collaborate instead of just hate? She, Iko, I do not believe this is an accurate analysis of Iko. Like, literally, we just read Iko's letter. Do you think that this is just about drama? Do we think that Iko spending effort actually laying this out? Like, like, what? Yeah, hi again, Mike. Happy that you're watching the Drama Mama Part 2. Oh, man, that's funny. Holy shit. Every streamer I watch talks about class every stream, from Vosh to ContraPoints to Mark Monkey. You're correct. We do talk about class all the fucking time. That's correct. Thank you. I appreciate that. I actually really appreciate that. It's true. Yeah, exactly, Roaming Gnome. Oh, hi, Mike. Okay, so you literally just bragged. Okay, you literally just bragged about having K Swiftly be a three month, a six month tier three sub, and now you're trashing her. That's what I said. That's what I said. Look at this shit. Amazing. Oh, we talk about class all the fucking time here. We had a whole conversation about class. Yeah, we do this all the time. I even do class, I do labor history. Fucking, what is, does Mike from PA do? Talk about whatever fucking bullshit fundraising thing he's trying to do for his next failed campaign? This is a conversation about class. Class reductionism is a conversation about class. My video on Mike was. Oh, yeah. Let me retweet this shit. I'm dying. I'm dying. This is so good. So good. So fucking good. So here we go. Let's get let's get right into it. Yeah, those are good content creators usually. Are you confused by who I was talking about? Namely the Democratic Party, like the man on screen right now. That is not who he was talking about. He wasn't just talking about the Democrats. Yeah, remember that great segment? I did a whole thing on it. I do it all the time. Yeah, it's really good. Thanks, Marinara. Appreciate it. Just off the top of my head. We could go through. Let's just, you know what? Watch. Let's go through. Ready? Let's go through on YouTube. Let's go through the video of of latest creators on the left. Okay? Let's go. Vosh. Trump administration. Honest question for Trump supporters. This was about class. The party of law and order. This is about intersectional issues. Yeah, of course. Absolutely, gender. That's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Go ahead. I'm 100% fine with that. I don't need anybody to, like, be my defenders online. But if you have seen something of mine that's useful, of course, go for it. 100%. We have, do we disagree? This was talking about class. Uh... The Kraken is now gone. This was talking about Trump. Guatemalan protesters specifically focusing on intersectional issues. Tucker Carlson. This was about class. Vosh does a lot of talks about class. Let's talk about somebody else. Let's go to the next bread tuber. Let's do philosophy tube. Philosophy tube. Philosophy tube's latest video was about Amy Coney Barrett. Now, to be fair... This one wasn't as much about class. However, this one is called Confucius or what to do when elites break the rules. This is a video that talks about class so much. Yeah, I'll do Trekkie next. Let's go talk about Trekkie. Let's look at Trekkie. Let's look at Trekkie's channel. Let's do, let's do their channel. A long conversation. Well, I don't know about this one. A tale uh, in my... I don't know about this one. Um, 
Dinesh D'Souza talks about capitalism, also about class, eviscerating Tim Fool's whiny dumb foolery um, about polling, probably not directly about class, but still good. Dropping the birds on Soygon and Biden. This, I guarantee you, talked about class if you're dunking on Biden. Let's do Xander Hall. Let's talk about, let's see Xander Hall. Let's see if Xander Hall has done it. Social issue. Here we go. This is about class, about about how Kyle Rittenhouse got bailed out because he has money, he's able to get bailed out. Why stop using the Arsler? Hey, that's great. Um, talking about Peter Coffin, talking about a class as a greater issue, as a part of class reductionism. Prager U uses teenage athlete. This is trans issues. So so Xander Hall in his most recent ones doesn't have a whole lot of class issues, but nonetheless still touches on it. So, all right, this is just bullshit. What he's talking about is bullshit. And guess what? Yeah, I think he did. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, maybe he's decided to give up on it. Anyway, oh yeah, let's do ContraPoints. We'll do one more. ContraPoints. These are all of the biggest, most mainstream people you can imagine on BreadTube, as mainstream as it gets. Let's look at ContraPoints' latest videos. Yeah, we can look at mine. Exactly. We'll look at mine. Voting. This addressed class, but not all that much. Justice. This addressed social issues. Cringe. This addressed social issues. Shame. Social issues. Cancel. This addressed class. Opulence. Definitely addressed class. Beauty addressed class. And then most of these other ones are social issues. The aesthetic also addressed class. And now let's go look. Now let's look at my channel. I spelled my own name wrong. I'm that dumb. Hey, look at that. There's me. Let's take a look. Left politics interview. We only talked about class. We only talked about class. Me and Zon Z talked primarily about class for hours. About how corporations literally exploit communities of mutual aid. Here's my video about Mike P.A. where we talked about class. Here's my video about going to YouTube. We didn't really talk about class now when that was more drama. Um, here's the Proud Boys. That's a class, uh, not a class issue. That's a social issue. Here is History Mama, the Battle of Blair Mountain, all about class. Oh, thank you so much. Table Knife, thank you so fucking much. That means the world to me. Thank you. So are the Democrats the enemy of the left? We talked about class here. Gold grifters raging about Trump. Class. Is nationalism fashy? Well, this was both social and class. The great Trump fail coup. Current issues. Science denial. Well, that was about science. Bird brains. Don't know about that one. Dinesh D'Souza. This was a video about class. The spider hole to Ryan's hell. This was about class. And I would fall. Mike from, Mike from PA blocked me and calls me a lib. And I do, like, a fuckload of issues about class. Yes, Marinara, it kind of is like that, isn't it? It's kind of starting to sound like it's not about class more, but social issues less. Oh, stop bothering me with the fact that you're oppressed as a minority who, who experiences material oppression that directly impacts your class. Whoops. Oops, Mike from PA. Looks like... You're still full of shit. The investigation deepens. And our suspect is only looking more cringy. Let's keep going. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Let's keep going. He doesn't talk class. Yeah, Obama doesn't. But nobody was talking about Obama. You were talking about, in the original clip, he was talking about BLM. He was not talking about Biden, about Obama. Oh, I'm sorry, Sylvia. It's a little, it's a little rough. But don't worry. In the end, the labor movement had some pretty big victories. That's also true, Jessica Metal. Yeah, that's why he tried to pivot, but he wasn't. He was talking about BLM and he was talking about bread tubers. So he's just lying. 
Spoiler, minorities are part of the working class. True, Comrade Anthony. True. Yeah, fuck Twitch ads. What can I do about it, though? Okay, Sylvia, go do your homework. Homework is motherfucking important. More important than watching my stream. Go do your homework. And I'll see you soon. Much love. Oh, oh, wait, we got a counteraction. Here we go. Let's watch this. Let's watch this. This is him addressing this. This is a clip of Central Committee Damn. addressing this. Let's try. Let's see if he actually addressed it. How long is this? This is a 30 second clip. Let's see. Let's see. Knows that I care a lot about black liberation, a lot about trans rights. I even have a trans rights emote. I would never. Wow, you have a trans rights emote. Good job, Mike. Oh, so good. I'm so glad you put an emote on your channel. Oh, you're such a hero. You're such a savior. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mike. What an ally. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Do I need to watch any more? This is so cringe. That's worse than saying I have trans friends. That's right. I have a trans rights emote. Good job, dude. How many emote slots do you get? Like 70? You don't have a trans emote? Actually, I do. All of my emotes can be trans. Ready? Watch this. Hold on. Mama mauled. Bam! Look at that. You could turn it. You beat me to it. It's, it's true. You can type faster than me when I'm trying to manage Windows. Let's get back to this. Let's listen to what he has to say. Put those struggles to the back. Um... And I have over 2,000 hours of content on this platform. And so the idea that I believe something so blatantly stupid as class reductionism is obviously wrong. Dude, you literally said it. You're so stupid. You're so dishonest. You literally motherfucking said it. And you won't own up to the fact that you said this. And not only did you say it, you made the arguments for class reductionism. I have a whole fucking video. Um, and if people want to try to run with it to get my clout and my attention, you know what's not going to happen? They're not going to get my clout and they're not going to get my attention. Too late. We already did. We already did, baby. You watched my fucking video. So I got your attention, but I don't need your fucking clout because guess what? I would rather you simply not be considered a leftist than get your clout. Because guess what? It's not just clout on the line for people like myself, Mike from PA, which I'm sure you're going to watch this video at some point too. It's not just people, you know, people in my position aren't just looking for fucking clout. It's our fucking lives on the line. So I know it's a big clout game and it's your little Twitch. Hee hee hee. I get to, to do this on there and I'm, I, I'm at 1.2K followers or whatever the fuck bullshit that you have. But let's be real. All you think about is clout. The rest of us are doing this because of principle. And you're a liar. And you've been exposed as a liar. You're lying to your audience. And I think that makes you the real fucking lib. The real lib here is Mike from PA. This was so, such a shit response. And this is what his stands gave in, in, in chat. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Embarrassing show. Let's continue. Sorry about that. I'd ignore it, but they are mods looking to lose mod. What do you mean lose mod? He doesn't get to decide if they lose mod. He doesn't get to decide. That's Lance's call. Unless he thinks he's going to tell Lance to lose to take Ico's mod status away. Yeah, exactly, Jessica. I fucking dare you. Listen. I fucking dare you, Central Committee, to tell Surf's TV to demod me. Based Ico calling the bluff. Calling the bluff. Based Ico. Holy shit. Central committee, your words seem to be more, and I apologize for the phrasing, 
but this is just from my perspective. Mini Bobinis bring up the things which make me feel weird, so only talk about class. While you talked about this issues, you called for a class reductionist movement. If you chose your words poorly, I understand. I do that a lot as well. But I think you should recognize how what you say might have been interpreted poorly and rectify that. True 404 gender. Holy shit. Based 404 gender. Holy shit. Oh, what's this? Is this the same clip? Is this the same clip from a stan? Is this the same one? This is the same clip. No, this Hi. is. And this if you think I've said something that's harmful and could be. Here we go. Let's see. This is the second clip. Let's see how he defends himself. Let's see. Will he do so? And I will clarify. And if you think I've said something that's harmful. No, you won't. No, you won't. You haven't done that. You've doubled down. You haven't clarified. You've lied and doubled down. There's no clarification there. It, I'm happy to go back and talk about it and no, you're not say where I made mistakes with rhetoric because no, you didn't. I believe no, you won't. that we should all be working and helping each other get better for the movement. But if your purpose is to try to say that, haha, I've actually caught that Mike is a secret class reductionist. You're not a secret class reductionist. You're an open class reductionist, you fucking idiot. And therefore he's actually racist. And he doesn't care about this, this, and this. Then you've gone from a take that Fully do so. These are not even good defenses. Holy shit. Let's keep going. Holy fuck. This is so good. This is this is so fucking good. Stop advocating for people to be deplatformed. True! Mike is literally trying to get Ico removed. I'm just being chill. You're getting so bullied here. I'm so sorry. Listen. I don't think Mike is bigoted, to be fair, but I think he's leaning into some pretty bad gut reaction tendencies. I need to go to sleep at 10. Will the segment be done by then? Yes. I think so. I think it will be, Dan Starlight. Let's find out. Ico Rules is still going hard on calling Central Committee for supposedly being a class reductionist. It's not supposed. He said it. Sent, and then Ico adds the serves. Would you like to demod me? <laughs> Let's see. Does he respond? Like be elected Biden, and now, and now racism's over because it didn't work last time. They told me when we elected Obama, racism would be over, but it, it didn't go away. It, it's just, it's gotten it's gotten better. Like no, he's not. Hey, yo, Mark Monkey, Mark Monkey just dropped name dropped me in chat. Yo, cool, Mark Monkey. Thanks, buddy. Talking about redneck. Yeah, Redneck went mask off. Yeah, he does this. But this is the thing. Redneck has done this multiple times, just so you know. Like, multiple times. May I drop... And then Iko says, May I drop the link to the clip since I'm being slandered and he's the racist piece of shit here? I'll go back two minutes. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I agree. Iko is a disrespectful asshole, but I'm not going to sit here and be lied about. Wait, Lance noticed us? Oh. Wait, go back two minutes. So I should be a little quieter now. Turning up. Uh, that was just last Sorry, let's turn up the volume here. Oh yeah, there we go. But that, uh, that was a general moment for me to watch because I perceived in that moment the dignity of the office, or rather the trappings of dignity and um, status that falls upon, rightly, falls upon the person who holds that office in that moment. And I saw way more the way, oh, nice. or rather I had a flash, an emotional flash nice. of all the ways I could be abused over the next four years. Were you this wasn't, similar? This, was a, this is a live show. We're not watching it live though. Well, I'm live. They're not live. This is streamception at the moment. Feeling in that moment? This so, is yeah. from like, yeah, this, this stream ended like an hour and ago. Were those concerns borne out over the next four years? Exceeded. Thank you. Mr. Let's President, see. we have to take a quick break, but... Oh, chat, are you... Are you... Are you fighting? Is there infighting in my chat? Infighting! We lost our coziness. This happens every time I play liberal porn. Why can't you just enjoy your liberal porn? Why can't you be good little liberal pornies? True! Do a good thing. I also just sprayed... <laughs> I said the word liberal porn and I sprayed my screen with soda. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> What's... Uh, oh, God! It happened. It keeps happening! Uh, it's because you say anti-liberal <laughs> things. Like I, love, like, I love the I love the surf. Trust me. We're, we're on the same team. We just... We haven't, we haven't bridged the gap yet. And soon... Soon YouTube will wake up, just, just as I once did. Listen, I don't know that I'm on the same team with Mike from PA, but we'll find out maybe. Maybe someday if he decides to fucking suck it up. Anyway, uh, would you like to demod me, the sir? I was so very tired too. I was drinking Flint Michigan. Here we go. I agree. Aiko is a disrespectful asshole. Okay. Wait, Aiko literally engaged Mike in good faith and Mike just called her a liberal. Like, we watched this video. Again, 
Go watch my first Drama Mama segment on this. Actually, I don't think that one was a Drama Mama segment, but it, maybe it should have been. Go watch the first segment on this, and you will find out just how good it is. Just how good faith, I, sorry, just how good faith Aiko's interaction was. Aiko literally engaged in his good faith and, as, as possible, and Mike just called her a lib. It was pathetic. And then we got name dropped here. Awesome. That's really cool of Mark Monkey to do that. You're letting the little fame, Ramses says, Central Committee, you're letting the fame that you, the, the little fame that you have get to your head. Oof. Nah, I'm out. Mike using his status to threaten smaller content creators who dare question him while skirting around his original clip of telling black people to liberate themselves because he got his fifis hurt. I'll come back later. Damn, Freems. Damn, Freems. Oof. Hey, see you later, Roaming Gnome. Have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging around. <gasps> Look at this. Uh, Freems, who are you? I'm pretty sure Mike has been on a panel with Freems. I'm pretty sure Mike has actually been on a panel with Freems. So fucking goofy. From what you said to me, you seem to understand that you said something which could have been misinterpreted. So I would understand how Ico rules feels. I do not know how to take... I don't know enough to take a position, but I feel a simple... It came off wrong. You misunderstood would fix it. True. That's true. It would have. Wow. You're being slandered, Ico rules. Lamau, you're the one who always I see pushing this drama. I literally watched your conversation when it happened. You completely misrepresented what he was trying to say. No, she didn't. We have a video on this. This is just a. This is Stan. What? This is what. No. This is what Standing does to a motherfucker. Holy shit! Imagine shitting on Frames. Frames is pretty chill, I will say. In all of my experience with Frames, he's been very chill. Stan from PA. God, these stands. Tell Ico to get a life. It's simple. Holy shit. He's so salty. He's so motherfucking salty. Tells Aiko to get a life. It's simple. Why don't you tell her yourself, you coward? You fucking coward? He mad. True, gender. True. Here's, and then, okay, Aiko drops the, the clip. Because keep in mind, Aiko didn't drop the clip. Mike from PA stands dropped clips in chat first. Just just for the record, Mike from PA stands dropped the clips in chat first for posterity. Just so you know, this we verified this on screen. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how how it goes. Let's see how it goes from here. Take my mod status. Look at this. Take my mod status if this is a problem, but I'm not going to let Mike get away with this bullshit. Look at that shit. Yeah, true, Dan Starlight. True. G Flota. Central Committee. Look, you're obviously upsetting quite a few mods here. If nothing else, either stop arguing about this or, knee, or leave. It's not conducive. Damn. He's pissing off multiple. Oh, shit. Mic drop, lol. Uh, Central Committee says, no. What a loser! What a loser! Does Mike get a good redemption arc? I don't know. We'll see. That's up to him, right? Doesn't that, doesn't that, doesn't that, isn't that determined? Isn't that in his camp? Doesn't he get to decide that? Ico's dropping the link. Why is a socialist swamp a bad thing? What? What are they talking about? Do the right thing, Lance. I love you, but this is the line, serfs. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ico's going all in. Look at that. This is someone taking a legitimate stand. Ico does not have 
Aiko does not have clout to gain here. Aiko only has clout to lose. She's saying I will take a uh, I will take a hit because my principles stand this. This is how you tell when somebody is taking a stand. What does Aiko have to gain from this? Aiko will not gain any clout from this. If Aiko loses her mod status, she will lose clout. If Aiko keeps her mod status, all that happens is her video showing that Mike is lying will, will make status. That's it. Aiko is not the clout shark here. That's how you tell. I, I do respect it. I respect Aiko's willingness to drop the bomb all the time. Holy shit. Bye for now, friends. Oh, okay. So here's where Aiko leaves. Central committee says lull. Goodbye, Aiko, says people. Aiko! A Twitch chat might not be the place to solve these types of dis disagreements. I mean, true. Wait, that was Central Committee? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Thank you for providing a citation. Oh, my God! Okay, so this is where you found out that Central Committee was Mike. Oh, shit. Don't worry. Chat will come back up. It's just, it's just refreshing. Oh, shit. Give me a second. I'll refresh chat. Just give me a second. Fuck. I gotta refresh chat. Fuck. Refresh chat. Refresh chat. Okay, it's refreshing. All right, chat will be back in a second. Don't worry. Don't worry. Chat will be back in a second. I'll check in with YouTube chat. Hi, YouTube chat. Hope we get a Demon Mama versus Mike debate. Damn, that would be great, wouldn't it? I would love to debate him. It would be really funny because I, I'm pretty sure I could just, I would come with everything on the table. There'd be no escaping, but he knows he can't win. He knows because he said that. Hey, YouTube chat. The site chat went down for a second, so should be back momentarily. Hey, it's looking like it's coming back. Look, it's like it's coming back. Hold on. It's taken a second to, to refresh on my side, but don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, you all are back. I can't see it yet for some reason. Hi. Good to see you. Hi, Interstellar Waves. If any of you haven't liked the video or subscribed, do that, okay? We're really trying to grow the channel. Our goal is 5K. If we reach 5K, it's going to be awesome. Just got to do those plugs every once in a while. Just a, just a, just a fact. Now me, now me, I have both clout and principle to gain from this. And I can be very upfront with that. So if you want to give me clout, give it to me. If you don't, don't. There you go. Bam. Yay. There we go. There we go. Let's keep watching. Let's keep go watching. I did a little bit of a clout. I did a little bit of a clout plug for myself. See, there you go. Being upfront. How do you do the flag and emote thing? Uh, you do a colon after the emote and then you type the flag that you want in all lowercase. Yep. So like this, it'll be like, am I sure I'll get to it? I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's try. Doubt it. It's just a clip. Wait, what is this? What is he responding to? Doubt it. It's just a clip. Hmm. Oh, he's responding to you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Thanks for providing a citation. Doubt it. It's just a clip. It's a long clip. It's, it's not out of context. It's in context, dude. Mike, it's fucking in context. Central Committee, I feel you do not truly... I I feel that if you do not truly identify what the arguments you made, a, a simple I am sorry would help. True! Honestly, I don't really understand why this is so important to Ico. It feels convoluted and shallow. Noam Chomsky. You do not have Noam Chomsky energy, my dude. It's not convoluted and, and shallow. Really isn't. It really fucking isn't. It really isn't convoluted or shallow to say, I don't feel comfortable with people who say that we should have a class reductionist movement. NBs unite. Aww. True. Calling it shallow is embarrassing and shows that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about.
argue in your home chats, not here? Well, I mean, that's fair, but also, like, it's kind of a big deal to Ico. It's hard to work within a movement when people say things that denigrate what you stand for. True, 404. Holy shit, you were killing it in this chat, 404. What the fuck? Good shit. I want to see. I want to see what he what he's got. What's he got? What's the hot and spicy memes he's got for us? Come on. Give it. Give it to us, fucking Mike. Let's see what your comebacks are. Give us to it. Ico? Ico rules. Uh, they're right here. Bam. There you go. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, Mike. Let's see it. Let's fucking see it. Iko was on my show once, uh, Shooby Doo. You probably watched that segment. We had a long conversation. It was awesome. And it was a great conversation. We talked about sexism in Twitch spaces. It was really good. Noam Chomsky, if we fundamentally disagree about the issues and solutions, how could we work together? True. If you don't, if you're not working towards the same goal, you're not working together. You're working against each other. That's how things work. It's just simple. People want, people want, people want to everybody to get along, but everybody can't get along. That's just fact. If you have different goals, different values, different tactics, those things can make it so that you can't work together. If I'm working for a world where everyone's free and you're working for a world where only one person is free, those aren't, those aren't compatible. They're not compatible. They're in opposition. Let's see. Let's find out. Rave Dubin. Class reductionists are leftists. You could actually try to change their mind or just attack and spread hate. No, you aren't. If you're a class reductionist, you do not recognize intersectionality. You are using a model of so-called leftism that doesn't reflect what is actually going to have good results. It's that simple. Class reductionists aren't leftists by any meaningful definition of the word, unless you also want to include Nazbols in your analysis of leftism. And, and if, okay, if you want to define leftism so broadly that it also includes Nazbols, then you're fucking stupid. That's what I would say. You're just fucking dumb. That's a bad, that's a bad definition of less leftism. It doesn't function. Can I check it out? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry, Dan Starlight. Let me do that. Absolutely. I, I blanked. I blanked on why, on why you had to go. I, I'm so sorry. Let me do this right now. That's my bad. Wait, you put it in the gallery of Brimstone? Where is it? Here we go. All right, let's check it out. It's in the art channel. Sick. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. A little temporary minute. This is a potential theme. <laughs> Hey! Oh, wait. Why did it stop? Oh, it stopped. Why did it stop? Hmm. Why is it doing that? Maybe I need to download it in full. Did I do something wrong? Maybe I did something wrong. Let me try something. Hold on. Maybe I downloaded it wrong. Let me try. Let's try this. Damn, that is a bop! Let's check it out. Hold on. Let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Where is it here? Hey, that's great. That's a, such a great little, oh, it's so snappy. That's amazing. Oh, okay, I see. I didn't realize the export was longer. I thought it was, it, it, there was so much extra time. That's so great. Yeah, absolutely. Dan Starlight, that's fucking amazing. I could literally put that to play when we do the segment as a sound effect. That's so fucking cool. Dan, that's amazing. Thank you. And I'm sorry I was being so harebrained there. That is a real good intro for Drama Mama. That's so pog. One more time? One more time for sure. So good. 
good. I love it. I absolutely love it. One more time. Yeah, one more time. We got it. Ready? Here we go. Okay, that's based. That's so catchy. I love it. Okay, Dan, amazing, amazing, incredible. Yeah, actually, you know what? Watch this. Yep, Dan, you made content, which means you get a special gift. Here, give me a second. Let's do this. Let me just make sure I got this all right. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. There we go. Here we go. Boop. I'm giving you a little, just a little gift. Since you made this for me, I do a gift for you. So here you go. Here we go. Ready? Get ready for it. It's just taking a second. There you go. Bam. A Fancy name, you. friend. You just got three fucking months of sub on me, all right? Enjoy. Enjoy your fancy name for that really wonderful thing that you gave me. I really appreciate that. Enjoy your site, your site sub. You can have a fancy name on chat. Yeah, there you go. There you are. No white name. You got a star now. Look at that. A golden star. No white name. Look at that. And it works right away. We got the glitch fixed. Isn't that great? Anyway, let's get back into it. Let's get back into it. Let's finish the content. We got to finish the content, okay? That was fun as fuck. Thank you for making that. I'm sorry that I was so harebrained there. I was like lost in the drama. You're very welcome. Thank you for making that for me. That's really kind of you. And uh, I think it's a really great start. Go get some sleep. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. A great fucking start for a theme. Amazing. All right, let's do this. So we're keeping an eye out here for fucking Mike from PA. Apparently he comes back and says some shit. So let's catch it. PP names unite. Yay! I have not been spreading hate, but having a calm conversation. I think telling people that racism isn't an issue. Hey! Aw, thank you so much, Brennan Hassar. Ago. Thank Thanks you so much. I really appreciate that. Drought. Thank you really for the tier one subscription. I, I, it is my mission, genuinely, my mission to keep bringing you great content. So thank you so much for the support. The support makes it possible, seriously. Uh, if I can make this a living, I will do that, and I will bring you content constantly. So thank you. Your support makes it happen. This show is completely supported by viewers like you. That's fair. We have some similar styles, and I can understand why people like all three of us. Vosh, listen, there's a lot of Vosh fans. I'm not scooping up anybody. And guess what? You can still enjoy Vosh and enjoy my content. That's the best thing. Thirsty? I'm thirsty too. I need to have a sodi in a second here. In fact, I'm probably going to get one in a minute. But let's let's finish this segment first. I want to catch this. Honestly, I'm really loving Demon Mama's stream, especially your timing. Vos streams when I work, but you stream around the time when I get home. Hey, awesome. Hey, yeah, the Vermin Raid. Vermin's amazing. I love Vermin. Um, yeah, I got to get a Sodi. I got a Nama Sodi. Um, yeah, I'm glad. Uh, Vermin, Vermin's raids are awesome. Vermin's amazing, has been really kind to me, and um, I appreciate that to the end of the world and back. Um, yeah, I'm glad that I'm able to stream at a good time for you. I, I stream at a different time slot than a lot of creators, so it works out really well. Um, you know, all we got people for everybody. Oh, shit, Gayfesh. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, me too, Jessica Metal. Let's see. Let's catch this. Let's see. 
Here we go. Yeah, no, this isn't accurate, Noam Chomsky. Sorry, Noam Chomsky. Watch my video on it, Noam. You need to watch my video, dude. Random chatter, dude. This is a stakeout. Yeah, we're in the final bit of the investigation. We're waiting. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is going on up here? What the fuck is this? Well, they forgot what made them successful. What got them there? Uh... Okay. Okay. Randy Quaid? Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. All right, come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. This is taking you forever. Wait, I love how this fucking simp is saying you were hostile. 404, you weren't hostile at all. You weren't hostile at all. I think it was a situation where both persons were heated and raring to go. Neither one was going to let go, but just because Ico seemed hostile doesn't mean that Mike was being rational either. True, G Floda. True. Come on, Mike. Come on, spit it out. Give us your hot take. I know you got one. People spoiled and told me there's a good one coming. So spit it out. Spit it out, Mike. Uh, we want to see what you have to say for yourself. Since this is how you solve your problems, is by sniping other people's chats and hoping you can get away without anybody disagreeing with you. You coward. Holding people accountable. It's really funny. Mike literally won't have proper conversations with people without being an asshole. He went on Ico's stream. Ico is like 20 times smaller than Mike as far as audience goes. So he might show up on a platform where he can like, you know, heft his clout around, you know, but, but he won't ever actually debate people. If, if he wants to confront people, he always goes in other people's chats and causes shit. That's what he does 90% of the time. He goes in other people's chats and causes shit. This has happened. I've watched this happen live on other people's channels. I watched Mike have a fucking shit fit over a bunch of dumb libs that he wouldn't even debate. He wouldn't even debate them. He was shit talking them. Mad shit talking in chat. Here we go. If Central Committee does not identify with the arguments he made, I feel he should openly make that no. It seems callous to say I didn't say that while there's clips of it. Yeah, that's called lying. That's called lying. That's what we call a lie. These people, these stands, they, they don't understand what a lie is. They're drinking the air. They're just sucking up the Mike from PA simp air. All right. Okay. All right. Hey. Aw, thank you. You earned this Encraid one. for the gifted sub to gender not found. Thank you so much. I agree. I agree. Thank you so much. Oh, oops. That's because I'm silly. That's because I'm goofy. You say Mike's a class reductionist, yet here he is addressing social so, social issues by using identity politics against Ico to claim she's not a leftist. Oh boy, let's check this out. Hey, the drama the drama investigation continues. I expect anyone who talked about Peter Coffin being a class reductionist and turf apologist to also address Mike from PA taunting black BLM protesters to liberate themselves. This is only a small sample of why I called him out. Did he retweet it? Oh, I can't see his response. I can't see his response. I got to open this in a new tab. Watch this. Ready? I'm going to teach you all a secret. Dun, 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 dun. This is why you come to me, the drama mama investigator, because I know secrets like this. <gasps> you got retweeted by someone who supports white people saying the N word in private. So it looks like you got some likes. Anyway, good use of the redacted meme also from that community. Weird. Looks like you might actually not be principled. Are you a socialist? This is so cringe. 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 
Zero engagement. Nothing. It's because he's blocked everybody. Oh, fuck, Mike from PA. He's talking about destiny. He, he's talking about destiny. But he got owned. Toasted. Mike from PA. Toasted. Toasted Mike from PA. He's retweeting Chris Hayes and he has the he has the gall to call people liberals and he's fucking retweeting Chris Hayes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, back we go. Back into the den we go. We got to see his response here. Chris Hayes is the is the anchor man for MSNBC. Like I I don't I don't dislike Chris Hayes, but he's a mega lib. He's a mega lib. Come on. Come on, Mike. I want to see your fucking take. Is he not a host anymore? I thought he was a host. Wah, wah. Whining. Whining. Sorry. Whining. E I don't like politics in my politics stream. E Sorry. <sighs> I like to see all these colorful names too. It's amazing. The generosity is incredible and I appreciate you all. This whole drama is hilarious. Fuck yeah. There's politics in my politics? Oh, look at this. I was looking for the chat and it's a fucking ad playing. Mm. Fuck you. Fuck you, Amazon Alexa. Yeah, oh yeah. Chris Matthews is the one that got fired. Yeah. Because he went fucking wild. Yeah, I know. VOD adverts, it's bad. Hmm. Top of the hour, every hour. True. We're waiting. We're waiting for the response. How long do we got to wait? He should make that known. You're right, gender. I agree. He should. He should make it known. And Iko is valid in being upset. I agree. Iko is valid in being upset. Also, Mike called Iko a liberal, which is not true. <laughs> this is like rude. <laughs> what? P Pandas main? That doesn't even make sense. The chat is very colorful, but it will always be free to everyone. Agree to disagree. Okay? Alright, so they're trying to kill the conversation now. I have a feeling Mike's going to step in here and light it back up. Yeah, that's because he's a coward. If I call someone a lib and they're like, are you insulting me? I'll be like, yes. Yes, I am insulting you because I'm not a coward. Dude. Arguing class reductionism is always going to be messy? No, it isn't. Class reductionism is bad. Hey, no, that's 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 totally fine, Cyborg. 100% fine. You're good. You're totally fine. Don't worry about it. Rule three. Whoa! The serfs, what the fuck? <laughs> he spammed. 
<laughs> it is funny. He does move really fast. Yamero! <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. People getting... Mike stands mad. Mike stands malding. Is there more? Wait, is there more 404? Does he respond? Does he ever actually respond? Or is he just gonna... Is he just gone? Maybe there's not. Oh, no. We got an update on CTV. Listen, we're taking one step away from the Mike drama to jump in on the CTV drama. Trans is trans, own category, unique in every way, and can't be quantified along the same lines. Uh, 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 uh. You heard it here. Trans folks have neither penis nor vagina. They have their own unique genitalia, and that's valid. DVD screensaver neur neurons hard at work. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. CTV is so motherfucking dumb. My God. He doesn't even try. He could just listen. Oh, my God. Christ. Anyway, back to the drama. Good call. Trans is special. I mean, we are, but in a good way, not in the way he means. You change the outcome by measuring it? Nice. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, uh, I think CT, I think, uh, I almost confused Mike from PA and CTV. Whoops. I think he might have, he might have re retreated. CTV from PA might have retreated. Hmm. Which part? Thought you got one last dunk on him? Maybe it already happened. Listen. You did good. You did good. This was this was honorable. This was an honorable and very good faith debate, in my opinion. Let's just give a check. Let's give a little check. Oh, yeah, where he said the video was a lie. Yeah, we saw that part. All right, so he retreated. All right, there we go. So we've seen his shitty responses, which were lame. We've seen Iko's. We've now seen Cyborg Jin's meme, which was awesome. Here was Iko's response, and Iko is going to be doing a full video on it, which is pretty based. There you go. So, yeah, hell yeah. Excellent. Excellent. 